What's up everybody, it's time now to take a look at these awesome warrior playing cards by RJ. So a brief overview, this is a deck which came in effect from a Kickstarter back in 2020 I believe and smashed the goal of 7,000 euros by getting over 12,000 euros back in which is amazing. I got my deck from RJ herself from the Blackpool Magic Convention this year but I've seen it a few times across socials from Daniel Madison, Nathan Lindley and other people like that post some pictures of the deck. So this is a, a minimalistic back design featuring some moth designs but it has a bunch of hidden revelations and built-in magic tricks which is always a bonus. The design was created by Cam Lee who took RJ's ideas, transformed them into a piece of art which then inspired the deck and the genius of Daniel Schneider designing the court cards and making them a piece of art as per usual. The deck is produced on a B9 slimline linen finished stock and is manufactured by Carter Mondi. So how much are they? On the Kickstarter campaign I believe the deck of cards were about 13 euros for a deck and can still be found in many magic shops online for about 10 to 15 pounds so get looking for them. So let's talk about the tuck case and all of its matte cardboard goodness. I do love the feel of a, a cardboard tuck case which doesn't have any silk or shine on it. It just gives it a completely different feel. On the front is the Moth Design logo which features the club's pip in each of the wings and Arjo's name in a triangle above the moth's head too and a skull in the middle of the moth. The sides are blank and follows a nice minimalistic approach. It doesn't have anything on there. Uh, at the top it has Arjo's logo and at the bottom is the ad copy. So Warrior Playing Cards by Arjo, artwork by Cam Lee, designed by Dan and Schneider. Along with stating that the cards are manufactured by Carter Mundy, that's the bottom of the, the ad copy. The tuck flap has the phases of the moon and also some text under the flap saying like a moth to a flame. So let's talk about the backs of the cards. You can see here they've got a nice border design which features a primarily black back design and a mirrored moth image on the top and bottom which is the same as the front of the tuck case minus the triangle with RJ's name on it. Uh, the black has got a nice shiny finish to it too so it shines really nice in the light as you can see there when I'm doing that. So what about additional cards? Well you get a few additional cards in the deck and to start off we'll discuss the jokers. They appear to look identical and feature a sand timer surrounded by flowers and it has the moth logo on the top of the timer with RJ's logo and appearing on there as well. But the difference between the two jokers is that each one of them has a separate card reveal. One of them is the four of clubs and the other one is the nine of clubs which is a fantastic addition I think. You also get a, a four of clubs duplicate card and also an angle zero gaff card which is the two of spades. If you don't know what angle zero is look it up by Daniel Madison it's a really good effect. So as RJ appears to love the club suits, it's only natural to use the Ace of Clubs to personalise rather than the Ace of Spades as per usual, and that's what happens in this deck. The Ace is a very intricate design which features the clubs, a skull and a bunch of other designs incorporated into the central club pip design. The black suits appear to be quite normal but they seem a little bit slimmer than the standard bicycle faces, and the red suits are the same but they have a slightly darker red than standard and also a black border around the, the pips. Not around the numbers but the pips itself on the card is a little black border around it. So how do they handle? I never used to be a fan of Carter Mundy cards. All the ones that I had in the past they seemed to be quite clumpy and didn't seem to handle as well as um, standard USPCC decks as the linen finish makes them a bit too slippy for my hands. But apart from the slippiness which I still seem to have with linen stock and my hands so they also seem to ferro quite easily and quite cleanly. They um, handle shuffles well and I think they uh, the fan much easier than USPCC decks due to the linen finish and them being a bit more slippy but that's just my personal preference. So on to conclusions now. This is a solid deck of cards with some great built-in secrets to use for card tricks and I have to say they do look fantastic in photographs too with them being quite minimal and the intricate design on the backs with the, the moth. Personally I think the backs of the cards would have benefited from the moth being slightly larger but I don't want to take too much of the blank space to cover up with that but that's my preference for the designs anyway and I still do appreciate the minimalistic style of the backs of the cards and the size of the moths. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you got this far through the video and you're not subscribed it'd be absolutely fantastic if you could help the channel and give it a subscribe as we're close to 3,000 subs which is absolutely amazing. Leave a comment what you thought of the deck and until next time see ya!